question from Shane Gilster, Huskers Illustrated. Great win. I, I haven't been that happy in a Husker sporting event for quite a while. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I clapped after Sam made that shot. <laughs> Thanks, Sh- but no, Shane. No, yeah. one was, no one was around me, so I, I thought that was appropriate. But uh, so, uh, Coach, talk to me about that third quarter. You only allowed seven points. Uh, was that the, the turning point, you think, in this game? Yeah, I mean, I really thought that that gave us some momentum uh, for the game and just, um, you know, to come out in that second uh, half and to be able to kind of be locked in and keyed into game plans. And uh, I thought the biggest key was just we were ending defensive possessions with defensive rebounds and and securing those rebounds. And that was critical and, um, you know, really important to kind of spark us and give us the lead that we needed to kind of sustain that game. Brent Wagner, Lincoln Journal Star. Yeah, we, we talked a lot about Sam as a scorer, but she also leads you in rebounds. Uh, I mean, just talk about her to get the rebound there on that last play and, and to come back in the game. Yeah, I mean, she's a warrior. And, um, you know, we, we just uh, we feel um, like she just keeps getting better and keeps getting better and keeps showing ways. I think one emphasis we put for Sam this whole year is to not have to put a bunch of pressure on herself to have to score in order to be special for us. And I think she's really embraced that. Um, I challenged her um, in one of our early season meetings to lead our team in rebounding and I felt like she's capable of doing that and so far she's you know we have a couple kids on the team that want to challenge her for that title and and um, you know but I think that uh, she's really embraced that and she knows that she can really help our team by rebounding she can help our team by handling the ball and controlling tempo and things like that so um, just really you know really proud of her that game winner was special but she had an awesome take um, where she finished a layup missed the and one free throw but um, it's a couple big buckets down the stretch and, and just, I think, shows the warrior that she is. Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Amy, um, I mean, you still only had eight players today, so the, the sheer effort of your team, not only today but against Purdue, like how, how gratifying is it to see to see them play as hard as they have the last couple games that they've played? Yeah, uh, it's pretty gratifying, Sam. And and I think, um, you know, one thing we've been talking a lot about as a team is, you know, I know that sounds a little silly, but uh, we talk about what makes uh, redwood forest trees so special. And it's kind of the intertwining roots and that just ability to kind of really hold each other up uh, in rough times and to be able to really kind of um, stay together. And I thought that really was on display today. I think our kids are really buying into that. Um, They're playing hard on each possession for each other because they don't want to let each other down and and um that is a, a rewarding thing to watch them just continue to fight did, did, did you think they would they would respond to adversity the way they have um i to be honest with you i i really didn't know sam how we would but we had been preparing so much i think you know we've talked about how sometimes you can really just speak things into existence and and um you know, if you find things to complain about, then you're going to have things that happen in your life that um, that you will want to complain about. But um, one thing we've been talking about since l- literally June, when we had our first team Zooms together and stuff, was being the best at handling curveballs, knowing that there was going to be a lot of things that were going to come our way, not knowing exactly what that would look like. But how do you respond to that? That's going to define character. That's going to define who we are. So I was hopeful that our kids would really embrace that and, um, and handle and respond well Uh, we certainly have had different adversity than maybe we've expected and probably a little more than we really have wanted but um, but one way or the other I think they have really handled it well and and part of that is just great leadership Derek Peterson Hale Varsity Amy um, there at the the end of the third quarter I guess had a seven point lead I think it was 49 42 I think is what the score was Um, and they hadn't hit a shot yet in that third quarter and then they get a free throw, they get the steal off the inbounds pass, and they get another bucket. And then instead of a seven-point lead, it's you know a couple of possessions going into the fourth. Did, did, you, did you say anything to your team about that little um, – that stretch to close out the fourth quarter? Was, yeah, or I mean, to close the third quarter? Derek, that's certainly not the way we wanted to close out that third quarter, but they already knew that. And um, they were already beating themselves up about that and, you know, whatever. So all I just said was reminding them that, uh, you know, when we inbound, we don't have to get the ball directly into our point guard. We have multiple options to get the ball in when they're pressing and you're fine. Let's move on to the next play. And, and that's really what the communication was after that end of the, end of the third quarter um, 
uh, series. Shane Gilster. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Derek. Okay. Um, so you've been you've been shorthanded a lot, and most of the the people that you haven't had available to you have been perimeter players or guards. You got Ruby back for this game, and so for stretches there, you had a lineup that had three perimeter players on the court. Did it feel like there was more space with that? Uh, I really didn't notice that. I you know I think that. Um, I think that, to be quite honest with you, I think you know Izzy's done a fabulous job of just bouncing back and forth for us and adjusting, and I think she uh, poses some problems. She put us in some positions to really attack them inside where maybe they didn't have quite the size and things that we wanted. And then when we were able to bring in Ruby and Witt and they um, were able to kind of contribute and spread the floor a little and Ashley Scoggin hit a couple big threes and Witt hit a couple big threes and um, Ruby hit a big three. And I think that, you know, all that contribution kind of helps. It just gives us a chance to kind of be versatile and mix things up a little bit. But um, I think Izzy's done a great job of continuing to keep the floor space for us and and she hit a huge three at the top of the key and and you know I think she's just continuing to gain confidence um, to help us continue to keep that floor spaced. Shane Gilster, Huskers Illustrated. Yeah, kind of off that point, Coach uh, Whitney Brown uh, came in in the I think second quarter, hit two threes, uh, two for two. Uh, talk to me a little bit about her. What kind of spark does she bring to the team? Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I haven't made a secret about, you know, Coach Love kind of nicknamed her Deli. Um, you know, she's just a hustle player, kind of a, a little water bug that's everywhere out there on the court. You know, she sparks us in a lot of different ways. But, um, you know, we had some conversations after the Purdue game about just expectations and knowing that, you know, we feel like she can spark us with offense when she stays aggressive-minded offensively. And she's been in the gym working really hard. And I thought her minutes today on her on her birthday, uh, very, very fitting. She, she came in and really uh, played well. Um, not just the two big threes that she hit and, and the confidence, but the confidence to handle the ball and break pressure and not turn it over and just be solid with the ball. And I think she got a steal there in the second quarter as well, just um, making some hustle plays. And, and that's what she does in practice every day, and that's what we're going to continue to look for out of her. Brent Wagner, Journal Star. You guys, you guys led by seven, and then Northwestern keeps cutting into it. Are, are you kind of looking over at your shoulder at that point to see if you're going to get Sam back at any point in the game? Well, I knew that um, uh, we have an incredibly uh, – capable athletic training staff that would do everything in their power to help try to get her back out there as soon as she's capable. So uh, I completely and fully trusted um, that they would be working frivolously to make that happen. I'm grateful and thankful for their efforts in that. But uh, in the meantime, I was really just kind of engulfed with the players that were on the court and keeping them confident. I knew that Northwestern would pick the heat up in the backcourt um, just because of the game circumstances warranted it, uh, but also without our primary ball handler on the court that they would probably try to heat things up a little and so I was just trying to stay engaged with um, the re remaining team until Sam was able to get back with us. Any other questions for Coach Williams? All right if there's no questions for Coach Williams we'll let her go celebrate a happy new year. And